August 3, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 526 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Day 526 of the three-day operation and the Kremlin mouthpieces are stuck insulting Ukraine for not winning faster. Ukraine continues to make successes around Robotyne in Zaporizhia and in repelling Russia's first thrust outside of Svartov. Russia is making multiple pushes in the north and in some areas gaining successes that might cause problems for Ukrainian defenders. Donetsk lines have not reported any front movements. The Black Sea was militarily quiet. A quarter-year recap. Since mid-spring 2023, Ukrainian troops have destroyed an impressive number of Russians sent by the Kremlin. Over the course of four months, Ukraine's high command has counted 72,690 Kremlin soldiers destroyed. Ukraine has destroyed roughly 150 tanks per month for a total of 605 tanks since April 3. Those numbers continue with 1,241 APC, 9 planes, 18 helicopters and 1,819 vehicles and fuel trucks. Additionally Ukraine has destroyed a counted 185 anti-air systems and 423 types of special equipment such as electronic jamming and ground radar equipment. Ukraine has also counted 2,198 Kremlin artillery cannons destroyed and 177 MLI systems. Dnieper Line Moscow's troops have fired 264 shells of various calibers into the right bank. A trolley full of civilians was struck by a mortar and firefighters were also shelled as they attempted to extinguish a fire caused by shelling. Zaporizhia Front there is at least one map suggesting that Ukrainian advances have made major gains around Robotyne, however the reliability of that source is unclear at this time. Ukraine has been widely reported to be making slow gains around Robotyne. Attacks by the Kremlin around Morkioli have taken up much of the day. They were rebuffed. Ukraine retook some fields east of Vulada. Relatively heavy shelling across this front. More destruction of Kremlin munitions in Tokmak. East Front, Donetsk. More Mobics were wasted by the Kremlin at Marienka. The Kremlin may have gained some low grounds north of Avdiyka, adding some pressure to the city center. Heavy shelling on this front. Bakhmut area. Fighting at Andiyevka and Klishchivka ongoing. With neither side making any claimed gains in nearly a week of very heavy fighting this suggests both sides may be making advances in different areas. Oskol border front. The most active ground combat front in the last day. The Kremlin took a high ground east of Belovarivka, which could create problems for any garrison in this town. 45 miles north, near the small city of Svartov, the great advances of the Russians at Kovalivka and Karmazinikva have been stopped. Up by the small town of Pashotrovnev, east of Kupiansk, Kremlin mouthpieces are claiming a series of successes, which Ukraine has not commented on. Fighting was reported by Kremlin mouthpieces in the forests north of Kupiansk. Artillery was unusually heavy in the Kupiansk area. Northern border. Sporadic shelling of civilian infrastructure continues by the Kremlin. Moscow's army claims they shot down six drones in the last day. Black Sea. The Kremlin's deployed navy has an available 12 missiles for salvo, some of which are submarine deployed. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.